Hello friends, welcome to another episode of the Urban Home Studying Channel. If today is the first time you are visiting with us, we want to extend to you a very warm welcome and invite you to watch any of our over 550 videos arranged for your convenience in playlists as we are confident you are going to find something both useful and entertaining to watch. If you have been here before, welcome back. If today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. Today we have another first look for you on an item that I think is very important in, in today's environment and that is a, an alarm system and motion sensing system that we've used for many years in our old house and here in our new homestead and that is a, a motion detection system from Harbor Freight which costs under $15 and if you find it with a coupon it can be $12 or $13 and so forth so it's a fairly inexpensive uh, product and we're going to give you some details about it and tell you our impressions. So stick around if you want to know how to have a very inexpensive security monitor system for your house or shop. So what we're looking today at is this uh, motion sensor that can be at the end of your driveway or in a door or any place you want to monitor for any intrusion or movement or animals or whatever. And you can find it at Harbor Freight for under $15 as a normal price and with coupon for much cheaper. As you can see, the device is fairly straightforward. And this actually is the receiver. This is a transmitter, and I'm going to turn it off so you won't drive us crazy, right? And as you can see, this is what you put at the remote location, the location you want to, to record. Does that make sense? And it has a, a keyhole in the back, so you can actually hang it. I have uh, one in, our, in the front of our driveway, which is a good 80 or 90 feet away from our house. And uh, if anything, the family complains that it activates too often, right? Mr. Uh, camera person. Today we have the debut of my youngest son operating the camera for us. And he's one of the complaining people, right? <laughs> now when it activates, uh, you see this LED here? So the LED will light and then the, the it's going to give us a tone. So I'm going to turn it on again. And that's the tone you get. And also you see, it has uh, LEDs that will light, right? I'm going to turn it off so it won't drive us crazy. This uses a 9 volt bat battery on the receiver, on the transmitter, I'm sorry. And it uses uh, 3C batteries on the uh, receiver. The receiver can also be mounted, it has two keyholes, but I found it easier to just have it on a desk or somewhere, right? So the range is very, very good about uh, 100 feet easily. Uh, I've never had problem with it. In our old house, it was a typical driveway. So how long do you think our old driveway was? 20, 30 feet, something like that, right? You can talk. Yes. <laughs> we have people here that don't want to be in the camera and now we have people that don't want to talk. They don't want to be seen or, or heard from. It is weather uh, resistant. I've never had any problems and we, where we used to live, we had a lot of snow and a lot of extreme temperatures, right? And I used it for well over two years without absolutely no issues. The more it activates, of course, the more you're going to need to replace the batteries. And most often it will be in the transmitter because that is what activates and, and of course transmits, right? The receiver, I haven't changed batteries on this for over a year now and it still works fine. But the, the transmitter, I have to change batteries. The quality of build is, uh, I think, pretty decent. It, it feels good. It is very, very light. I will give it here to my son, you know. It, it weighs almost nothing even with the battery, right? It is very light head, light uh, weight. Uh, and this is the, the transmitter cell that has a, a 20 to 30 foot um, range, right? Like something within 20 to 30 feet in front of the sensor will activate it. So it depends on where you position it, you might get some four alarms like we have a parallel driveway, our neighbor's driveway, sometimes a large vehicle will activate ours. Yes? And my son way moves his head, even though he's not in front of camera. All right. Now, one point I want to make, and it might be a good point for some people and bad for others, is that if you have multiples of those devices, all of the transmitters will activate all of the receivers, right? So it is not paired one to one. It uses the same frequency. Uh, now, sometimes that can be good because you can put several transmitters and have one receiver letting you know that something is going on. 
But if you want to pinpoint where exactly the movement happens, this is not the device for you, right? You will need something that is paired so its device can activate one, uh, one receiver. Other than that, I've been very pleased with this device. It has served me very well over the years. And uh, I would definitely recommend it. I will give this a thumbs up. And uh, again, I'm sure you can find something similar on Amazon, but I purchased mine from Harbor Freight and I've been very pleased with them. Once you put the batteries in the devices, the devices are ready to work. And the only control that you have, there is a three position switch here and it is off, high and low. I do wish it had one that it was only the lights because if you have any sensing, you're going to always listen to the sound, to the chime, right? Other than that, there is no other controls. You could, on the receiver, you could plug it in with a, a power supply. You don't always, always need to use the batteries, but this is about it. This is a pretty straightforward device, as you can see, right? There is nothing else there, nothing to break. I haven't had mine uh, break. It is item number 61910, if you want to find it in the Harbor Freight catalog. And again, it's about, from Banker Security Systems. So if you're looking for an inexpensive and reliable uh, security solution to alert you when there is movement around your property, I most definitely think this is a very good entry-level system. It's not very sophisticated, but it is not very expensive either. And in the last two years that I have used it in my properties, I've had nothing to complain about. It has been very, very good. Uh, the only thing that, um, I, I don't know if it's a complaint per se, but even something as small as a squirrel can actually activate it, right? So it, it may be a little oversensitive and I would not mind a sensitivity dial somewhere so you can change how sensitive the device is. Other than that, uh, for $14, I don't think you can go wrong. And again, I have multiples. Uh, in this location, we ha I have two because I want to to monitor two different locations and maybe it would be useful for my application. For the cost for security system, you, you could not expect much more uh, than what it has. It is reliable, it lasts a long time, it is pretty decent in using of the battery and it does what it says that it will do and that is detect movement in any location that you're going to put this little transmitter forward. If you did like this video and you found value to it, it will greatly help our channel if you give us a thumbs up and if you like uh, this and other videos that you might watch that we generate. If you don't, the other button works as well. Please share, like, and subscribe our videos. Again, it helps the channel tremendously. And from uh, Dr. Wizard, Wizard Jr. and the Urban Homesteading Channel, we wish you well, stay safe, wash your hands, put your masks on, and we're going to see you on the weekend with another build. Farewell, friends.